So in all of these problems, you're going to tell me what number squared gives you the radicand. So what number squared gives you 144? 12. I don't know why there's an 89 there. Hold on, let me think what I was thinking there. I think I was thinking 81. Let's change that to an 81, shall we? What's the square root of 81? 9. Well, notice this is really negative 1 times the square root of 81. That's negative 1 times 9, so that's negative 9. So negative in front of a square root is totally fine. How about C? So the question is, can you break up a square root into pieces? The answer is no. You cannot break up a radical if you are adding or subtracting the root. If you're multiplying and dividing, yes. So you cannot take the square root of each piece and then in this case add them together. So for all we know right now, this is just the square root of 104. Later on we learn that that does clean up, but not yet. How about D? What number squared gives me 25 over 144? 5 over 12. E, what number squared gives me negative 4? Not a real number. There is no real number such that when you square it, you get negative 4. So we would just say for right now, not real. Later on, we get to find the actual value for this. Because we need a definition before then. And how about F, square root of 17? Yeah, 17's prime. That's nothing going on here. Square root of 17. 